All right, we back. We're in here. 2024, Missy, the prostitute in Houston. Missy, I want to thank you for being a part of the channel, RB3 TV. You are the very first interview of 2024. All right, woo-woo. You know, um, I want to thank you for coming on and sharing your story. So we're going to get right into it. Uh, and I guess I'm going to start from early childhood. Uh, until now. And for, for the record, how old are you? 20. 20? Alright. Okay. When's your birthday? July 9th. July okay. 9th. What is that? Cancer? Yeah. Oh, okay. Alright. So, Team Cancer for all the cancers out there. Alright. So, let's start in the beginning. Um, single parent home, two parent home. Uh, how, how was your early upbringing? My upbringing. When I was first born, I didn't know who my father was. Um, I want to say when I was like 13 or 14 ish, I built up the courage to ask my mom who my father was, and she told me. And then by the time she told me, my father was passed. Um, <clears throat> but I knew who my father was. Um, yeah. Okay, alright. So he never lived in the home with you guys? From when I was 10 to 12, I think, he lived oh, in the house. Okay. All right. But I didn't know he was my father. Right. You thought he was somebody else? Yeah, I thought he was just somebody else that my mom was messing with. Right. And so she told you after he was deceased that that was your real father? Yes. Okay. So how did that make you feel? Damn. Damn. That's how I made me feel. Damn. I was hurt. And how old were you then? When she disclosed that information to you? I want to say probably 13. Okay. Yeah, because I'm about to make it great. So, do you still feel the same way you felt then? Yeah. 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 Um, so, you find that news out, you're about 13, you're about at what, middle school at the time? Mm -hmm. All right. So, middle school, are you having sex or are you living the normal life of a young girl are you playing barbie dolls what are you doing watching barney <laughs> you know what, I'm what you doing you know um, like the eighth grade the seventh grade is when i actually got introduced into sex mm -hmm. everybody in the school thought i was sexually active mm -hmm. why did they think that because of your body development or like why um yeah and also because I had a lot of boyfriends. Okay. I'll go swap through them. I'll, I'll be dating Jimmy one week and then I'll be dating Timmy the next. Okay. Yeah. All right. So you so you, <laughs> you had a lot of boyfriends, but, but you weren't sexually active? No. Okay. So you pretty much live a normal childhood for the most part. No molestation, anything like that. I was molested when I was in the fifth grade. Fifth grade. Coming from after school. And that was like my first time ever being on the after school bus mm -hmm. because I was filling the class. And the dude, I didn't know who the fuck the nigga was. Mm -hmm. I knew everybody else in that fucking bus, but him specifically, I didn't know who he was. He rode the bus with you? Oh, this was public transportation? Yes. So, Metro? No. Like, the after-school bus, you know, like the... Like, after-after-school The school bus school bus. Yes, okay, like all the right. district bus. Okay. And he yeah. rode that bus with you? Yeah. So, he went to school with you? Yes, but I didn't know who he was. Oh. Uh, and you were in fifth grade? Mm-hmm. So he, he was, was a sixth grader. But I, I still didn't know who he was. I know everybody in public school. And he raped you? Molested. Molested you. Now, to clarify that. Um, it never got to the breaking point. It was more of a touching situation. Okay. All right. Um, Groping. He was. Yes. Was he in your clothes? Or, yes. Okay. All right. And do you remember that that vividly? Or? Yes. So. He threw my shoe out the window too. Yeah. 
Oh, so he, he, because I was kicking him out the seat to come to the move room, and then he grabbed my shoe and he threw it out. Oh, so this was done on the bus. Yes. Okay, but this was against your will. Yes, because I didn't know who it was. Okay. And because even if I would have known who it was, I would just never do it. I almost felt bad because I think I used to touch on the bus too. <laughs> <laughs> For real, I was like, I, I'm trying. I'm like, damn, you make me feel a little, you know. But it was consensual though. You know what I'm saying? It was consensual. Oh, okay, okay, uh, yeah, it was consensual. <laughs> Yeah, I used to love them field trips, you know. Man, <laughs> for real, I used to go ham. Like, I was a little freak, bro. I, I remember one time my mama came into the school. This little girl, it was a white girl, too. She had a dress on, and I dropped something up under the table on purpose. Oh. I was a freak. Something was wrong with me. Mm -hmm. And um, and I went down there, and, and I tried to act like I was getting up on the, and mm -hmm. I put my hand between her legs. So I did two girls, but the, 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 the fatter chick, she was with it. Mm -hmm. The, the the skinny girl she wasn't with it, she ratted on me. Ooh, yeah. mama came to school and tore my ass up, and then I got tore up at home too. Yeah, but uh, yeah, you, you kind of made me feel a little weird, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like like damn, that's me, sound like me. <laughs> but uh, so he 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 went against your will. You didn't know him. Mm -hmm. He just so he just started grabbing on you. He threw your shoe out the window, mm -hmm. etc. Yeah. Did you report it to anybody? So so my lollipop on my mom too. Oh, damn. Um, yes, I did. Well, see, no, because then when I came home, my mom, she knew it was something wrong with me from the jump. Mm -hmm. And then I don't want to tell her because cause she she got issues. Mm -hmm. So then I was like, you know, I'm just going to keep it on the quiet. But then eventually I had to let it out because it was just fucking with me. So mm -hmm. I told her. And then once she finally came home, no way believed me. But my grandma did believe me. Gotcha. That's gotcha. gotcha. what gotcha. gotcha. Yeah, grandmother know. Cause she's like, my baby ain't just lie about nothing like that. That's what's up. So then my cousin did too. Crazy, crazy. He's yeah. actually part of my other cousin family. Crazy. Your cousin molested you as well? Yes. Okay, that's what I want to. So, cause a lot of times when I talk I was to him, I was like maybe thirteen when it happened. Okay. We were at his grandma's house on mm -hmm. his father's side, and um, we went in the closet. We was playing in some type of fucking closet game, but we in the closet. Was it house quiet. or something? Huh? Uh, okay, go ahead. You no, got to make me. You gonna make me feel weird specifically. again? Specifically. Okay, go I ahead. I don't remember the game specifically. We wasn't playing house though. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, and he came in the closet. No, he was like, uh, boom. It was our turn to go in the closet. Mm -hmm. So then, boom. I think it was probably like seven seconds of heaven or something like that. I don't fucking know what the mm -hmm. fuck it was. Any group besides playing. So then, dude, he decided to pull his Peter Piper out mm -hmm. and asked me to suck it. Mm. Then I looked at it. Did you suck it? No. Okay. No. I ran downstairs. And then I stayed downstairs and then I didn't tell nobody until probably about a week. And then, because it was like, why are you so weird when you come around such and such? Mm -hmm. And I eventually told my mom. No, I told my grandmother first. I think it was my grandma first. Mm. I told my grandma first, and then everybody in the family was saying I was lying because on how long I took. But my grandmother, once again, was the only one that believed me. My mom believed me, but it was just like, okay, well, my sister says that her son didn't do it, but that family is fucked up in the head. And it was such fun. And you got me feeling strange again. Because oh. to me, it sounds like kissing cousins. Like, I had a couple cousins that I was, you know, we were mm -hmm. young, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Something I didn't kiss my cousins before, yeah. but. Yeah, pumping and stuff, like playing house and stuff, and mm -hmm. you don't know, you know what I'm saying? And you grow old, and you're like, wait, we family. This was like, technically, but, we're really not cousins. We're yeah. really like third cousins. Y'all more, but yeah, the third cousin do, do hit different. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> I'm just saying, you're man. Hey. Hey, I'm just saying, I got, <laughs> hey, I got a lot of people. I mean, hey, it's some people, man. I, I know some, some cats. They will mess with their first cousin. I know. I know some females. You know I, what I'm I, saying? I got females in my phone. I got two of them. Hey, I'm like, like ah, that's too close, my man. Yeah. Me and my cousin, I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm not into the yeah. internet. Sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, nah two of my cousins tried to, tried to swing it this way. Ain't happening. Ain't happening. I know that's right. I don't oh. give a fuck if you the cousin of a cousin. Yeah. Still not. I ain't gonna lie. The cousin of the cousin got it though. Eventually, later on. He got it. Yeah. Okay. I ain't bad at you. He was. He was really my starter off. Um. How. How I started off. 
you know. But it was more of the damn. I want to fuck with her, uh-huh. but I don't want her to continue the shit that she was on when we were kids. Uh-huh. And this was like a freshman year. Uh-huh. Um, not even yeah, freshman year, a little freshman. Year. But you, once we got to middle school, I didn't know who the fuck he was. All right. Only because. Once again, I still didn't know who the fuck he was when I first met him. Just the cousin of the cousin. Yeah, the cousin of the cousin. All right. Is um, he the one that took your virginity? No. Okay. No. No. Right. How old were you when you lost your virginity? I was a freshman. Freshman? Okay. So All my right. average age, you know. All right. So, for the most part, you, you live <laughs> a fairly normal life. Yeah. All right. So, nothing too traumatized. I mean... Not taking away from what you went through with mm-hmm. this situation. But most time I think of like grown men, you know what I'm saying, taking you and, you know, raping you or, you know, actual penetration and stuff like that. But um definitely, you know, anything against your will is no good. So but you get to high school, you you meet other guys, you Living the high school life, mm-hmm. were you playing sports, anything like that? I was running track. Running track. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you ran track. Did you graduate high school? Yes, I did. All right. So you graduated high school, ran track. Things going fairly good. Mm-hmm. What happened to make you want to go out and sell your body? Okay. So see what see what happened was like. Let's bring it back to the front mm-hmm. to, to the. To the cousin of the cousin, right? right? So the cousin of the cousin, he was trying to pay me off, right? Mm-hmm. So w- once he started paying me off to shit my fucking mouth, I home girl, mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> that was the only bitch I was fucking with. That's mm-hmm. the only bitch I was talking to that bitch. I talked to that bitch on a day to day basis. Mm-hmm. She was like, I'm going to like you. She said, I'm like you too, girl. That's what I said. We be a gullible. She said she likes him? No, my cousin. She said her uncle. Her uncle likes me. I was oh. 14. Mm-hmm. 14 at the time. I said, oh, I like him too. She said, bitch, I'm not talking about that way. I said, oh, he like me. Like me. She said, yeah. He gonna fuck with you, put money in your pocket. I said, Really? Mind you, he had a bitch that looked like a fucking supermodel. Mm-hmm. Not a bitch that looked like an ogre to me, but we ain't gonna talk about that. Mm-hmm. Not gonna talk about that. But, um. How old was Uncle at this time? Didn't know Uncle H. Mm-hmm. He never told me. Mm-hmm. Until I got this one dream, and I, I was a senior in high school, and I asked him, I said, Are you 40 something? He said, What the fuck? I'm turning 40. I said, Oh. Mm-hmm. I, I went to your 40th birthday party in my dream. Mm-hmm. And you feel me? We was turning a bitch up in that hole. I'm, mm-hmm. I, just, I just had to ask. I just had to ask. He said, what the fuck? Mm-hmm. Y'all give me the information, God will. But yeah, that's what happened. Then, after that, I just went down down the spiral. Lost my father. Honestly, I would say... Probably looking for a father figure to fit in somewhere. Probably why I would seek for so many men's attention. Mm. Probably so, but. Yeah. Hmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Alright, so. <laughs> now you, you're dealing with him. How long did you deal with Uncle for? Uncle? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, the. the We didn't stop fucking each other until I changed my number. So how much money was he actually giving you? Like, let's just say. Um, I think 40 every day. $40 every day? Yeah. And he was using weed and shit like that. That's also where I, where I started smoking. So pretty much bird feeding you. Yeah, basically. Yeah, but to you back then, that seemed like a lot. Yeah. yeah. So did your mother ever ask questions like, No. You know, did she notice anything? Later on in the years, um, I was I told her I was like, you know, I used to fuck with an older man, right? I said sugar daddy. Um, you know nowadays, you know, I'm, I'm a little bit wiser, just just tap it. Um, <laughs> and, and that that wasn't shit. But uh, 
her own other hand. My mother, she knew. She knew. Um, she tried to overlook it? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, did you ever look at this man as a creep? Like, if you see a 40-year-old man right now messing with a ninth grader, how would you look at that situation? Mm, 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 mm. See, I can't blame because I was in a predicament. But at the same time, deep down inside, I know that technically was a brainwashing. And most, mostly, half the time, that's how it is. Older men get to younger women because they go through their younger teenagers right. and shit like that. Okay. All right, so you go from uncle, you go from cousin of cousin to pay you off, and then uncle starts tricking on you a little bit, uh, bird feeding you, giving you little mm -hmm. candy and weed and money. Mm -hmm. When do you actually become a prostitute? Mm -hmm. My junior year. Junior year in school? Yeah. Wow. How does that work? I mean, did you have curfew? You know. I would sneak out. You sneak out? Yes. Go get your money. Mm -hmm. no. Because I was messing with this one person and he was like, um, what you're doing is too good to just be doing for free. Mm -hmm. Make some type of profit off of it. So then that's when I was like. And then I just started doing it. Was this a pimp? No. Okay, just somebody who. One I don't of, prefer to be pimp or manage because then pimping and managing is technically the same thing. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Have you ever been pimped before? No. Okay, so you've been doing this. You what twenty right now? Mm -hmm. Okay, so about six years. About six years, yeah, yeah. Okay, um, danger. Danger. Mm -hmm. You ever been in any? No, but some, I mean, but the cousin of the cousin, it was this one time, he was like, uh, if you don't suck my dick, I'm going to shoot you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was a little crip. He thought he was big and bad or whatever. Fuck all that shit. Um, and, yeah, so nowadays I just stay away from crips. Mm. Yeah. Did you suck it? I most definitely did. I was not about to get my head blown off. He was serious, so. Gotcha. And after I left, he shot off the gun. Mm. Ever since then, I've never been in a situation like that. Okay. Because I'll check the demeanor before I'll fuck with you. What about being robbed or anything like that? <laughs> no, not by any, what, what is it called? By a, Trip, John? Mm, yeah, not not by nobody that I was fucking with and they was giving me that money, no. Mm -hmm. um, it was more of a, a dude that uh, asked me, what's the fuck? Oh, I was asking him to take me places, and he took my whole purse. And I was giving him gas money, so it was really no point in taking the purse. But you can have the $25. Yeah. That was his advantage. Wow. Okay, so you're turning tricks. How are you getting your clientele? Are you on the, on the, on the blade? You walk on the track? You online? You on the back page? What? Um... Online mainly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, most of the dudes, they'll be like, oh yeah, I want to fuck with you a little bit. Mm -hmm. But then deep down inside, you also want to fuck. Right. So why not get you for the money mm -hmm. and then just straight out all over the place, you know? That way you get you and they get them. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. What about a guy who really <clears throat> does want something serious with you? Mm -hmm. You don't think that your mind is a little cloudy because of the money, the lifestyle that you live? Or you or would you accept a real man to come to your life? Do yeah, you even a want that? Man. A real man, an actual real man, but not a man that thrives off the of sex. Well, most men gonna want some sex. Yeah, but not all the time. Like, right. I don't want it to be the first agenda. Oh, yeah, I wanna fuck. Yeah. Yeah. So you haven't had any guys approach you and say, hey, let's go on a date or let's do this or let's, you know. Fuck no. no. Really? No. Why I mean, you? yeah, we went on dates, but mm -hmm. then deep down the side, once they start chilling with me, they're like, mm -hmm. no, I can't, I can't do it. 
can't do what? The relationship. Why? You don't think you're relationship material? Let me ask you this. Do you think you have low self-esteem? Fuck no. Very confident. Mm -hmm. Okay. Every time I walk in, my head is so high. So why do you think you can't keep a man? It's not that I can't keep a man. It's that I choose not to keep a man. Right. You choose not to keep a man. Yeah. Because you rather the money, right? Yes. Okay. Kind of sort of. Yeah. But in the long run, <laughs> you get the short end of the stick. Because this lifestyle... It don't lead to a pot of gold mm -hmm. in most situations. I mean, you have your Cardi B's, you have certain other females who may have done certain things, but then they found, but even them, they found another route. Mm -hmm. So this is your plan A. What's your plan B? My plan B is to be a radiologist. To be who? A radiologist. A radiologist? Yes. When do you plan on starting to go to school for that? Whenever somebody helps me with financial aid. What do you need help with? The whole process. You can do it online. You don't have anybody to help you? I mean, Could I, I ask motherfuckers, but they, they act like, you know, yeah, they don't help you. No, I'll help you. Let, let, me, let me fix some time in my schedule. You, that's your FAFSA, right? Yeah. Now, you also have YouTube. You can go on YouTube and it'll show you how to fill out mm -hmm. your FAFSA. Take that same energy that you're using to go out there and get these niggas money and put that towards filling out your FAFSA get your ass in school, become that radiologist, get paid, live a legitimate life. Because the older you get, the more things that you go through, it's gonna get more dangerous, it's gonna be more severe, more risky. And that cute little girl that's sitting in front of this camera is not gonna be that same cute little girl anymore. You see them junkies outside or whatever you wanna call them, they look like zombies out there when we walk in here. Mm -hmm. You don't wanna look like that. Okay, so you know, I gotta this. This just me being me. I have to tell you right from wrong. I, you know, that's why we do this. So if other girls are watching this, and uh, right, you know what I'm saying? Is it? You know, my my goal is to change people's lives mm -hmm. and to um, in all aspects, mm -hmm. you know. And that's why the channel is called All Walks of Life. All right. So we'll get back to it. Um, how much What's the most money you've received from any one of your tricks? 5 dollars okay. So what did you have to do for that $5,000? What do you mean? Where Just regular sex? Yeah. And do get you $5,000? But it lasted like five hours a day, or four. He had sex with you for four hours straight. Yes. He was sniffing cocaine. He was he was sniffing cocaine. Yeah. And you were sex. And you weren't scared. Okay. Did you let him raw dog it? No. You did for four hours, and you didn't get no raw dog. Okay. He was paranoid. Okay. Nah. And he was also a Okay. And he also had a wife. Okay. All right. And how did you meet that guy? And that. Okay. So what if what what avenues do you use on the internet? Like. Regular dating websites. Huh. Regular dating websites. Like. Regular dating websites. P O F. Like. Tag. Tag. Bumble. Yeah. All that. Yeah. So you get on there. Do you tell them, hey, I'm on here selling ass? Or, or do you display yourself as, I'm on here looking for a date, looking for love? Mm, no. Not necessarily. I would be mm. clear like that. Mm. I put it as if, you know, we just have casual conversation. Mm -hmm. um, you feel me? Look at the text and see what the fuck he really on. And mm. then. Hit him with the, if you want to fuck, you have to pay me. Mm -hmm. I know it rolled for two hours. You know, I got to get 20 bucks, you feel mm -hmm. me? And boom, that's thing, you know. 
control toe, do what we do. They leave sometimes, you know, I do this thing called car play and they be on their way. So the car play is when y'all fucking the car? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, do you think you're a nympho? <laughs> I'm serious. I got, I got ass. People are going, you know. I asked the questions that I think the, the viewers want to know. <laughs> Give me the precise definition. Of a nympho? Yeah. A nymphomaniac is someone who's addicted to sex. Like, you just have to have sex. No, not necessarily. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. You think it's more the love I mean, of the money? You know, I mean, in this little situation I'm dealing with right now, mm -hmm. you know, female is crazy, right? Mm -hmm. She'll give you head anywhere, anytime, anytime. She'll do what? She'll give you head anytime, any day, anywhere. Don't give a fuck who's around. Mm -hmm. She's one of them type of bitches. Mm. This your girlfriend? Yes, but specifically, I ain't fucking. I mean, I don't get to my shit eight, but damn, like, I feel like she's gonna eat the skin off my shit one day. Yeah. In which? Okay. She. Now, is she bisexual too? Because you bisexual. <laughs> wait a minute, wait. Oh, wait. She this is, is the girl you took. She pregnant, right? Yeah, she technically is bisexual, but she prefers to say she's lesbian. So she got pregnant I while y'all were like, together? She fucked my shit up. Huh? She got pregnant while y'all were together? No, before. Before y'all got yes. together? Did she know she was pregnant when y'all got together? Yes. Okay. All right, so the baby. But what? Person, person. I don't think she's pregnant, for real. Oh, my best see. friend don't think she's pregnant. My boy best friend, mm -hmm. he just like, that bitch need, just needs some help. But, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so, all right. Well, <laughs> maybe she's not pregnant then. Okay. So y'all haven't done a pregnancy test or anything? She said she did one on but they don't mean I just come out my own pocket and pay for one. I mean, personally, she came to me with nobody in pocket. Yeah. Every day, if you want something to eat, you want something to drink, but yet, you have no way of living your lifestyle without getting by, even though you don't have a job. So, so and there's plenty of things you could do. You could babysit with your kids, you could fucking take your trash out, you could fucking do a whole bunch of shit just to get cash. You don't have to fuck for cash. But, I don't think my kid dad and, and, and my best friends they get pissed off at me because I'm just letting the bitch come and walk in my life and just fuck my shit up. So when a when a dude could have done that. For real. Yeah. Right? Yeah. God, yeah. So, like so you out there popping coochie. Mm-hmm. Slanging. Yes. Slanging the coochie. Yeah. And she at home laid up. Yeah. With your mom. Mm-hmm. In my room. In your room. In my team, my team. Does your mama know that y'all are a couple or does she think y'all are friends? She, uh, the, I, you know, honestly, I would say that my mother knows mm -hmm. that we're friends, but then she probably knows that she be eating my coochie on the mm -hmm. Okay. So your mama knows how you are? Yes. Okay. You pretty much a freak? Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, does the girlfriend participate in any of your sexual acts? We can have one time, mm -hmm. but then I end up spazzing out and hitting her because mm -hmm. when she was doing it to the dude, I got paid my money, mm -hmm. but she didn't inform me, okay, maybe I might want to do something, mm -hmm. and that way she could get her money. So she did what she did to do, Dude did cocaine, so to someone that does cocaine, you got to keep the same rhythm mm -hmm. for them to know. If you change different rhythms, you start swapping the shit out, it's going to take him 30 years to know. Mm -hmm. 
That's what the fuck she was doing. The, the, it was in my coochie. She took it out and sucked it. Mm. Then, then, then she dropped all her fucking body weight. I felt every bit. My girlfriend is skinny. Mm -hmm. That bitch really got a little bit of meat on her, right? Mm. But most meat she got on her is her ass. Okay. Just, just, just let her do it. You know, let it, let it rest. Mm -hmm. Then the bipolarness kicked in. And was like, bitch, get the fuck off me. Mm -hmm. Then the man was typing in Spanish, talking about some. Is everything okay? Oh, 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 I don't want to make you mad. I'm sorry. What a, what a, what a. Well, that's how y'all communicate. Yeah. Google Translate. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. You get a lot of clientele like that. Yes, I know a lot of Mexicans. Yeah. So, it's mainly what I really mess with. I don't mess with um, Africans because they uh, uh, don't pay. Gotcha. Or they'll pay you in a little slump change, throw change at you, and mm -hmm. like, here, bitch. You know? Mm -hmm. Then it's like, I get something for you. Where is my end? You know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Self mass arguments with niggas just, just because. Mm -hmm. Just because. I hear that quite often. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a rule. Don't mess with black men. Yes. Yeah. Please. Because they'll rob you. Leave you. Yeah. I just got left the other day. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy. So you gave him some and then he left you? Don't know. He didn't fuck it up. He, so, he, he put it in me. And he was like, fuck your shit too wet. I gotta go get home though. Then I was like, Okay, so boom. But he wanted me to stay in the building. But I didn't want to stay in the building because I know how mm -hmm. niggas are. You're going to dip out to chance to. Mm -hmm. Do wheels to the car, check the car, run to the car. Acting like you're paying. I mean, look at folks who look at condoms. Never mm -hmm. found for condoms. Mm -hmm. Those got in car, took the fuck off. And then I grabbed the handle thinking that the door was open and the motherfucker looked me down my eye. And took off. Mm -hmm. okay. So let's let's backtrack a little bit mm -hmm. because the people gonna want to know this. So you said the guy put his penis inside you mm -hmm. and said it's too wet, and then he went to the car to search for a condom. Yes. So basically, he raw dogged you. He wasn't in long, per se. He so was only in for like. 15 seconds. I'll put you on. Maybe 30 seconds at the most. But it doesn't take long to catch something. Yeah. So, how often are you doing the whole raw dog thing? Like, are, are you afraid of catching any disease? Have you ever caught any disease? I'm caught in an STI, which is a sexual transmitted infection. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 STD is a complete disease, which is something you cannot get rid of. So what was the STI? Gonorrhea. Gonorrhea. Okay. All right. And then when I was younger, I caught gonorrhea and chlamydia. But that was by the dude that's going to be. He was a dirty asshole. Right. Not going to talk to that nigga. So do, I know of some females, they actually, let's just say, okay, they throw a price to the guy. Mm -hmm. They say $100. But the guy tells the woman, okay, well, how much for raw? And then the girl says, well, maybe 150 or 200 mm -hmm. Do you do that? Yes. You offer those services, yes, okay. Sir. And how often do you get those offers? I get them often, mm -hmm. but I don't let everybody do it mm -hmm. simply because it just depends on the fragment of it. And personally, personally, me and dude, we was having a good ass conversation. We was talking about using my girl. You feel me? I'm like, mm -hmm. you know what? Because this bitch needs some fucking money. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of fucking buying her fucking food every fucking day. So, you know, I was like, yeah, you do that shit. He was, you feel me, getting, giving great ass conversation. Like, he was really about some shit. Then, next thing you know, didn't get paid. Didn't do none of that shit. But the factor in which, oh, give me my money at first, flew across my head because he distracted me by conversation. So, most of my clientele, I like to be quiet. 
Because then you'll talk my ear off and then y'all, my y'all will build else. a connection and have that vibe. Yeah. Because one thing I noticed about you, you're like a super cool person. Yeah. All right. And I know some of the girls are like, you know, I ain't talking. We ain't got nothing to talk about. If it ain't about the money, mm-hmm. we ain't, you know what I'm saying? So. I don't mind giving the fact that, okay, well, the the care. I, yeah. don't, I don't care about the care. Mm-hmm. You know, the, oh, how is your day doing? How are you? Mm-hmm. You know, got kids. How yeah. are the kids? You know, I don't mind the, the casual conversation. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to other shit, I can't do it. When yeah. they start asking me dumb ass questions. I get agitated. <laughs> so that guy, that guy that you're talking about, the same one that left you, mm-hmm. he, he finessed you. That's what yes. he did. And he, he found a weak spot, he used it, and then he just, he, he left. Mm-hmm. Um, left you hanging. How much longer do you plan on living this lifestyle? Because it's very dangerous. Not that long. Do you plan on being married or having kids? Yes. or Yeah. I think you're a very bright individual. Not done by a long shot. Um, you want to pursue radiology. Why do you want to pursue radiology? Well, you know, let, let's talk about the benefits, right? Mm-hmm. I'm in a room by myself half the damn time. Mm-hmm. I only got to look at images to find out what's wrong with people. Mm-hmm. And then on top of that, I'm very educated in medicine. Like, certain shit that people will ask me, I don't know where the fuck it came from. Don't know how I know the information, but I know the shit. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. I think also with, in radiology, I think you get a significant time off. Do you know that? Mm-hmm. Because of the danger of the radiation? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, that's kind of an upside too. So, but you, you right though. You are right. And your health care will be good. Yeah. Everything. Decent money. Yeah, you're right. Um, I'm trying to think, man. Um, when was your last date? My last date? Mm-hmm. Um, Day, yesterday. Probably about a month ago. A month ago? Yeah. Your last, not, no, date. Date, yeah. Like, we go out to movies. No, 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 no. Don't y'all call them dates when you link up with the guys? Oh, oh, that type of thing. Yeah, that date. Yeah, yeah. Yesterday. Okay, all right. I don't call them dates, I just call them link-ups. You know? Link, link-ups? Yeah. Okay, so how often do you get link-ups? <laughs> um... You coughing, you ain't sick, huh? Hmm? See what had happened was, like, my mom, she had told my grandma, she had told me my grandma, mm-hmm. you know, was dying. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, I had went outside to go cry. And I ain't had no shoes on, mm-hmm. so I got a little mm-hmm. going on right now. Yeah. Right. Okay. You're safe, you're safe. It's not COVID. Yeah. Or anything else. I'm sad to hear that, that news. Um. But so, how how often do you have the link ups? Um, my most busiest days is actually on the weekend. Mm-hmm. So during the week, I'm pretty available. How much money do you make from it? <laughs> on a on a weekly basis, let's let's <laughs> on say. On a weekly basis. Yeah. Um. Let's say a good week. Two to three thousand dollars on mm-hmm. a good week, okay. And then bad week, five hundred. Five hundred, okay. Are you managing your money well? Are you saving it? I know one, one prostitute, and that girl know how to manage money. Mm-hmm. I mean, you'd think she was really working for a, a a corporate company and like a legitimate job, but the way she manages her money. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Dave. That's my dog. Um, do you manage your money well? 
No, not really. You blow through it. Yes, sir. Like most of them. Yes. Yeah. What do you spend your money on? Rent, phone bill, food, necessities. So you pay your mother's rent? Yes, I pay my rent. Okay, yeah, okay. That's good, mom's got you paying half their rent. You ain't living enough for free. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel you're not sucking up the AC and stuff. Mm -hmm. You and you and your. And we had to get like, we had to get in that conversation too. Like you, my baby, I don't. You, you don't need to pay rent. Mm -hmm. It's like, but I want to. Yeah. But that's good. I respect that, especially since you got your freeload over there. Mm -hmm. When you putting her out. Look, me and best friend, me and the best friend crew, we don't put our ass out tonight. Hopefully, we get some liquor. For real? <laughs> Uh, you, I, I don't think you should do it with the liquor. Y'all going to jail. Somebody going to jail. Don't do it with the liquor, man. Shoot. Just, you know, get out of there. Smooth sailing, you know. But, um, even if we do kick her out, she's not going far. She's just going to my best friend's house. But, he was like, I mean, I've been telling you I can get her off your hands. But, like I told him, oh. I don't want her to be a burden to you if she's a burden to me. Wait a minute. Oh, so he's so y'all pretty much swapping her. Basically, but oh, he it's won't. only to get her help and to help me out. Because he could tell in my face that mm. the bitch is stressing me out. Like mm. he was like, You came up here, and your eyes was twitching like mm. a bitch. Like every word that bitch can every word that came out of that bitch mouth, your eyes was twitching. Mm. Like and I said, For real? He said, yeah, yeah. Then the bitch schizophrenic. He could have been told me that. Mm -hmm. He could have been told me the bitch was schizophrenic. I would have been left that bitch in the corner. You don't know she's, you didn't know she was schizophrenic? No. So she hadn't shown any signs? No. I mean, she got a little d d dementia, but. Uh, dementia? I, the, it, I call it dementia, okay? But this act like she don't know what the fuck yeah. I need to say, but you know. What the fuck I said. Everybody else didn't hear what the fuck I said. Selective. You know selective. She's selective. <laughs> She's selective with her memory. Mm -hmm. that's, 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 that's what you want to call it? Yeah, I call it that. I think that's what that is. Is she in love with you? No, she don't. I. I, I what, 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 Your nerves like, getting bad not talking about it. Like my friend said. Uh, like my best friend said. Mm -hmm. She loves what I do for her. Mm -hmm. She doesn't love me specifically because pers personally, mm. we probably only been doing it till for a week. For real. We've been dating for a week. A I week? Been long. Yeah. Haven't been dating that long. Up uh, until today? Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, in my head, I was like, oh, bitch, she just need a week. You know, she just need a few days to get her shit together. And where did you meet this guy? And your mama let her move in after she only oh, known her for a week? Oh, shit. I see the thing, <laughs> Wow. It, it was kind of like, <laughs> I really didn't tell my mama. It was just like, yeah, girl, you come over here for, I mean, for a few days. Mm -hmm. Like, because it's how she grown to me. It's like, in my head, I don't know. I just wasn't comprehending that she needed the whole fucking, the whole experience of her being pregnant around me. You're holding me. I don't need to take care of a grown ass bitch child. So, <laughs> what's gonna happen if she sees this interview? I'm gonna be beating on a pregnant bitch. <laughs> God, man. Bruh, don't go to jail. Don't get me locked up. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is not a conflict, you know? Yeah, we just, we're gonna move, we're gonna <laughs> move on. Questions. We're gonna move on. So <laughs> you like women, you like men. Yeah. Through your through your your linking uh escapades. Mm -hmm. Have you ever been approached by any gay men? Or quote unquote bisexual? Yes, I have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, what, what happened? I've been approached by a transsexual. I didn't know if he was a transsexual. Mm -hmm. Um But he's very nice. He wasn't mm -hmm. like one of them. I feel like a lot of gay people take it as women. Mm 
Um, especially if they're pregnant, he was aware of them. He mm. was actually very chill. Mm. Did you go through with it? Yes, I did. You did? But he did not. Mm. But he still paid me. Because I, I have a genuine heart. So, help me understand it. So, a transsexual, <laughs> mm -hmm. I thought he's attracted to men. You know, honestly, we don't fucking know. He wants to be a woman, but if you want to be a woman, why are you trying to be with women? You know, we're not going to ask some questions. Mm -hmm. I have no idea. Okay. I don't know what he wants to do to life. I mean, what she wants to do to life. So, you okay with gay men? Yeah. You have sex with gay men? Mm hmm Most of my exploits, that's another reason why I don't have men. Because every time I come out, you know, boom, I'm dating somebody, boom, they want to come out there they're gay. Bitch, like, huh? You be putting dick in that ass? Oh, it's different when I deal with a client and I don't have to see them every day. But when I see them every day or every other day, it fucks me. So your boyfriends are gay? Most of them. Is that what you look for? No, I say it's really because that I'm really supposed to be lesbian. And that's why I keep finding gay ass men. But uh, I don't fucking know. They come to me. I don't go to them. You know, they be like, oh, damn, you fine as fuck. Oh, you cool as hell. Thank you. <laughs> I feel like it's because I got a nigga, nigga mentality. And you're not worried about catching anything? Like, you, you do know. I ain't caught nothing yet, so, I mean, nothing serious. I ain't done. God forgive me. But, you know, I ain't caught nothing serious. Speaking of God, do you believe in God? I most definitely do. I walk with faith every day. That's the only reason why I really probably is not scared because I walk with faith. How do you feel God feels about your lifestyle? He don't like it. But I get it how it is. In other words. Like I can apply for a job today. Mm -hmm. Because people are going to wonder, they're going to say, why don't you just get a job? You know, I can apply for a job today. Mm -hmm. Boom. Go to school, apply for a job. Never get the call back. Never know why. Probably fucked their husband. Who knows? Never know. I think you should put a little more effort into getting a job. And this is just coming from me. Um, mm -hmm. You're living a very, very dangerous lifestyle. And, I mean, the, the only thing that you pretty much haven't had sex with is an actual pet, an animal, at this point. Well, you've been with the trannies. You've been with your boyfriend's gay. <laughs> oh, shit. You got the girlfriend, and then you got regular dudes. Mm -hmm. That's a lot going on. Yeah, I don't think you I'll know. ever be attracted to pets. Yeah, I mean, it's going on. It's happening. You know, it's happening. Um, drug use. Uh, are you on any hard drugs? No, nah, I just smoke my marijuana and call it a day. Okay. I think you should get some help for uh, sex addiction. Sex addiction. Uh, sex addiction. Mm -hmm. I think you have a sex addiction. Addiction. That's just me personally. That's me. That's me speaking to you. You might need some help. Because I tell my best friends I need as much as help I can get. Yeah. Do you think you suffer from mental illness or anything? Yeah. 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 I asked you about um being molested and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What about physical abuse? Like nobody beat on you or anything like that as a child? Mm -mm. I was punching them niggas down. Mm-mm. Okay. Mm-mm. Put your hands on me. Okay. Mm-mm. That's why the man had to use his gun. Okay. I mean, so you just naturally throw it off? Yeah. Probably. Okay. I blame my mother and father. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially my father. He was... Have you ever... You, your father what? He was the cuckoo nut. He was a cuckoo nut. Yeah. Most definitely. Have you ever considered... High speed chases and everything. Oh, down and something. Yeah. You ever considered seeing a therapist? No, because I feel like the therapist will lock me up and throw away the key. I don't. I'm not. I don't think they'll do that. I actually have one that contacted me, 
and I think you might be a perfect client for her. Would you consider it? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to talk to her about it. I think if we can get you some help, try to get you away from that lifestyle. I want to see you in your, your radiator and your scrubs in the hospital, okay? <laughs> I don't want to see you in no thongs and no, all, I don't you know what I'm saying? I don't wear them. Oh, you don't wear drawers? Nope. Nope. I come in sweats, dress. If the dude asks me, you know, can you wear a dress out for a dress on? You know, they act specifically in cops with that specific So you're just ready? Just ready? And you've never gone to jail. How do you keep from meeting police officers? You know, honestly, I like I said, I live through faith. I most definitely live through faith. You know, actually, mm -hmm. probably about a week ago, I'm, I'm some, on mm -hmm. the first, right? Mm -hmm. I think I met him. I, I thought I met the officer, but he just got like this. It's a difference. It's a difference. Mm -hmm. I was actually walking on the show too, but see what happened was, like I said, I, I ain't, I'm not a, a stroll. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't do strolls. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. right. so. Two was seen him, boom, whole bunch of prostitutes on the fucking, you feel me, I'm sitting there, I'm in a fucking hoodie, a fucking pair of joggers, mm -hmm. and fucking slides. Hey, you, you right there, right there. You ain't talking to me? I don't even know what the fuck is shit, walk shit, I do pop them off. So, you know. Yeah, yeah, like, I don't do what the fuck I do. Mm -hmm. Don't see what the fuck me alone. Boom, he asked, how much, how much, how much? I told him, he said, boom. Okay, we're going to go to the hotel. I said, okay. Boom, called my girlfriend. She was at this hotel. I was like, um, just in case they come knock on the door, you know, get the money out of my purse. And woo -woo -woo -woo. Mm -hmm. Now, this ain't no hotel now. You know that. Motel. Yeah, we we in a motel. A roach oh. motel, because we just saw oh a roach. Oh, my God. We just, we just seen the roach. <laughs> we just seen the roach. <laughs> I told you, I, when I leave up out of here, I'm jumping in that peroxide. I'm finna. Oh, go down. <laughs> I'm about to. When we come up out of here. Shit. You, well, um, yeah. Then we uh, did what we did. Boom. He only lasted like 13 minutes. Because mm -hmm. he was timing it. And um, he was trying to make an hour pro pro man. He didn't make that hour. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are your What are your fees? How, how do you fees. charge? Mm -hmm. Um, for an hour, is sixty. Mm -hmm. Um, more than two hours, it's one fifty. Mm -hmm. Um, overnight, four fifty. Mm -hmm. Um, so forth, so forth. Mm -hmm. You know. Some people, they're like, oh, let's do the hourly. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, more money for me, mm -hmm. you know. I'll, I'll not find you wanna it out. You want to get your phone? My phone. Mm -hmm. Is that, is that, is that our time? Yeah. yeah let's see. Well. Hello? Hello? It's still on 3 minutes. Oh, it is? And I will oh, be okay. back. For another week. He, he ruled. Yeah, they, 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 they don't like me no more. Some crackhead man was like, yeah, I'm going to tell them that they got a bed, bed, um, bed bug infestation around this bitch. Yeah. Yeah, because New Year's, I'm trying to get me alone for the whole night. And the motherfucker was talking about, yeah, we're doing hourly. We're doing hourly. And if you want a room for a whole night, you have to pay 100 Yeah. All right, so look, we finna wrap this thing <laughs> up, all right, because now it's time for us to go. Um... Is there anything you want to say to the world before you we go? Black man, stop cheating these prostitutes. That's all I have. All right. Give us our money. We are. Thanks for being part of RB3 TV. First interview of 2024 with Miss Missy. And we are out.